Hey guys, so Munto decided to buff Granger again and now he's probably as good as how he used to be. His attack growth and ultimate receive a huge improvement and you will be able to see how much of a difference they make throughout this gameplay. In this one I wanted to use Granger as the hyper carry role, but since our team composition is a little bit weird, I decided to just go to the gold lane, which is still pretty good since you can gain gold a lot faster. At the start of the game, I always try to harass the enemies as much as possible because Granger is one of those marksmen that is quite strong right from the start of the game. Their Franco is in very low HP, I will try to finish him off with the last bullet and my first skill. I should have ping to attack, so Hydro will follow me. That's why micromanagement is really important in this game as well. <laughs> they didn't go back to base, so I'll try to harass them even more so then we can potentially turret dive them later. Since Granger's skills don't consume mana, try to use his skill as often as possible to poke the enemies. That's one of his biggest strengths, use it to your advantage. Here I decided to miss most of my bullets so you will know how not to use his ultimate. I'm willing to sacrifice some kills here and there so you guys can learn from what looks like a mistake. This is definitely all part of the plan. The good thing about having the jungle item is that when you kill the jungle monsters, you regain some HP and mana back, so you don't have to recall back to base that often. Hayabusa is trying to compete with me to see who gets the MVP. Challenge accepted. He has more kills than me at the moment, so he has the lead right now. Seeing he is ahead of me, I decided to steal his blue and slow down his farm. I got you there, right? You think I will need to resort to such tactics to get the MVP? Okay, maybe sometime.
Well, I'm serving those kills on a silver platter for Hayabusa. RIP MVP Now the priority of the game is not just to win the game, but to see who gets the MVP. I cannot afford to die right now. It will make the challenge more difficult. Maybe if I deal the most turret damage, it might affect the final score. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing or else you will have a hard time getting those MVP as well. Thanks.